Welcome back to our YouTube channel, everybody. This episode is going to be about the first metric of our dividend stock screener, the price to earnings ratio. That's perfect, Bert. And again, smash that subscribe button. Give Bert and I a nice thumbs up on this video yeah. as we're here to talk about the price to earnings ratio and why it should matter for you. Thank you, Annie. So let's break this down. What is the price to earnings ratio? It's exactly what the name suggests. The price earnings ratio, or PE ratio for short, is calculated by taking the company's current price per share and dividing it by the company's earnings per share. Take those two, you get a multiple, and that's the final metric that you use. So why is this metric important? It's because it's a great way to quickly assess the value of a company. So you can, by looking at the price and bringing out earnings, you can then use this number, compare it to the broader market, you can compare it to other companies, and you can see which companies are trading at a higher multiple compared to their earnings or a lower multiple compared to their earnings. Now, of course, and yeah, great explanation, Bert. Again, the price to earnings ratio is a great way to see if the company that you're researching on is either undervalued mm -hmm. or overvalued. And as Bert said, you could typically compare the price to earnings ratio on an individual stock compared to the S&P 500, which is the broader market, as you said, mm -hmm or you can compare it to companies within the same industry. You know, for example, you know, we'll walk through calculating the price to earnings ratio for Johnson & Johnson, ticker symbol was J&J. &J. And remember, this was one of our top five foundation stocks for your portfolio. Now, J&J &J historically always seemed to be at a higher stock price as of June 5th, their stock price was trading at $147.30. Bert, what, don't you think $147.30 seems expensive? That sounds awfully expensive to me. Would you buy a frozen pizza for $147.30? I would not. Well, what if the other frozen pizzas at the grocery stores are at $200 for that frozen pizza? Well, hot damn, yes I would. Yeah, I'd be buying up that $147 rising crust frozen pizza all day. Yeah. No, but in, in a nutshell, Johnson & Johnson is trading at $147.30. But the question is, is what, Bert? How does that compare to the market? And how does that compare to other companies in the industry? No, exactly. So, you know, if you remember using our Dividend Diplomat stock screener, we used a great source. Yeah, we would use Yahoo Finance to help us identify the forward earnings for the company. And then we would, you, it has their price as well. So it has everything you need to calculate the PE ratio. And again, we would also dive into, you know, FinViz um, and using a combination of our screening metrics to help look at Johnson & Johnson versus the market. For instance, when you see Johnson & Johnson's forward earnings for 2021, you know, the year, because we're already halfway through with 2020. And with the pandemic, you know, earnings are kind of all over the place. So we like to look at forward earnings and Johnson and Johnson's forward earnings is roughly $9 and six cents based on a dozen plus analysts yeah. that are reviewing them. Yeah. And we think it's important to get multiple analysts and get in there because they know the companies well, they know the industries and they're making their own earnings projections and earnings guidance. So by taking an average, an aggregate to get the best estimate, we take that as a much as a reliable metric versus compare just one earnings release from the company or just one source. We love getting as many in there as we possibly can. And here's some basic math, Bert. Now, if the S&P 500 is on average trading at 20 times earnings, given J&J &J is projected to earn nine mm -hmm. in 2021, if you were the S&P, what would your price be? 180 shit. Yeah, 180 per share, because that's 20 times 9. So 180 a share is what you would expect. However, mm -hmm. Johnson & Johnson, remember, it trades at $147.36 yeah. a share. So their price-to-earnings ratio is not 20 times, but it's actually 16.25 times per earnings. Yeah. So let me ask you this, Lanny, then, based on this simple math, is Johnson & Johnson over or undervalued compared to the market? Great question, Bert. Simple answer. Undervalued, baby. So the question then you have to ask yourself is, are you ready and willing to invest in a top five foundation stock, a dividend aristocrat, 
and a company that I always consider good old reliable. Well, now again, please leave your questions and comments below. Uh, feel free to look at the description for more facts and where our information has come from. And again, this is Laney and Bert from the Dividend Diplomats. Over, Over and out. out.